Hello Cancer, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at past, present, and future energies, as well as how you feel about each other. And we're just going to jump right in and get started. All right, for Cancer. The sign of Cancer Spirit. Any messages regarding love and relationships? As always, Cancer, this reading will be a general reading. So it will not resonate for every Cancer watching. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, check out my playlist for Cancer. I have a ton of readings there that you can check out that might resonate more. All right, spirits, so just got this clear and concise messages, please, for Cancer regarding love. Okay, we got, it is safe for you to love. I keep getting this card. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Can I get one more, please, spirit? For Cancer. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive faith and thinking will bring you romance. Okay, so very reassuring messages there. So let's see what we get with the tarot for Cancer. What messages do you have, Spirit, for Cancer regarding love? All right, one more for Cancer. All right, that feels good. Let's cut the deck. In the recent past, we have death reversed, Scorpio energy. In your energy, we have the five of pentacles and the world. Mm, the world is a beautiful energy. Cycles. Something's happening here with cycles, with death reversed and the world. Currently in your reading, ten of wands. Not in your reading, in, in your energy, in this connection. And judgment, yeah. This is definitely going to be a reading about cycles. Right before the world is judgment. And then we have the Ten of Wands, which is all about getting close to completing something, letting down a burden, um, getting almost close to the finish line. So whatever you've been carrying that's been very difficult, you're about to set it down. In their energy, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy, and the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Might not have enough room with this deck. Let's see. Okay, and then in the near future, we have, wow, King of Pentacles. More Earth energy there. We could be dealing with a Virgo, a Scorpio, a earth sign does not have to be, but that's what I see so far. Um, I think this is definitely going to be a reading about kind of the wrapping up of a cycle and the beginning of a new one when it comes to love. I don't know if it's with this particular person um, or a new person coming in. So let's clarify and get some more messages here for all of these energies. Answer. Cancer spirit one messages. Wow, there's the tower. And the world. All right, so let's start with this death card reverse because this card is about the resisting of the end of, of a cycle, resisting change, not wanting something to change or end, or it could be a delayed ending. So we'll see. Spirit, tell me about the death card reverse. Why is death reverse here? Six of Pentacles. Okay. Why is death reverse? Can I get some more? For cancer. Wheel of Fortune again. It's almost like someone's um, waiting to be given an opportunity here. Can I get one more, please, for the death card reverse? The Six of Pentacles is about giving and taking. Two of Swords reverse. Okay, so a choice that someone possibly hasn't fully made here with the Two of Swords reverse. Um, I only say that because death is reverse. It's like 
you know, I'm, I'm seeing here, okay, so Six of Pentacles, give and take. This is um, about um, either giving something or needing to be given something. And usually in a relationship reading, it talks kind of about, you know, the the efforts that someone's making towards a connection. Is one person, is it equal effort or is one person giving more than the other? But I have the Wheel of Fortune here, which is almost like someone's waiting to have an opportunity be given to them or waiting for the right time to make a decision regarding giving or taking something. So we'll have to see. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Cancer? <laughs> this is a, okay, we got the Two of Pentacles. So Spirit is saying this is a decision, okay, um, which I kind of knew here with the Two of Swords, but what's telling me is uh, with the Two of Pentacles, a decision hasn't fully been made. I feel like someone's weighing their options here, trying to figure out which choice is better. The wheel is setting something in motion, and I think this is connected to whoever you're dealing with because they have the Wheel of Fortune reverse on their side here. Can I get one more please for the Two of Swords reverse and the Two of Pentacles reverse? Spare, can you give me some more clarity on this decision? This could be you or your person. Tell me about the Two of Swords reverse and the Two of Pentacles please. Page of Swords. Communication research, curiosity. Observing, watching with the Page of Swords. So I feel like this could be somebody that is still figuring things out. Maybe they need to talk to someone before they make a decision. Um, maybe they're doing some research um, or watching someone, you know, and almost like waiting to see if whatever they're observing or communicating is going to help them with this decision. Very interesting message. I feel it's very unique. So we'll see if that, you know, obviously let me know in the comments if that resonates for you. Okay. So let's see, let's move into the present energies here. That's the recent past energy. Now keep in mind, time is fluid. Okay. So just because I have past, present and future energies doesn't mean that this happened in the past specifically, you know, it could be happening in the near future in this kind of a sequence this time is fluid okay so tell me about the ten of wands what is this about this is a burden an obligation a heavy weight that someone's carrying tell me about the ten of wands please strength reverse yes and maybe their strength is about to give out maybe they're not as strong as they were in the beginning maybe they're exhausted Leo energy there with the strength card. Can I get one more? For the Ten of Wands. Maybe this requires courage. And if that's the case, someone still doesn't have courage or is losing courage. Page of Wands, another page. So I feel like this burden will need to be dropped in order to have a new beginning. The Page of Wands is all about like new starts, jumping into something, feeling motivated, um, creative, feeling like you want to take risks and um, go after things, um, new endeavors, new travels, new, new experiences, right? That's what the Page of Wands is about. But again, I have two pages here, so this could be somebody communicating. Can you tell me what this Page of Wands is about? Sparewise, Page of Wands here. Queen of Swords, reverse. Hmm. Yep, Ten of Wands again. Okay, so I'm feeling, I'm, I'm seeing two things, two messages here. Either someone has been hiding something and they've been holding on to this, suppressing this, maybe just carrying this burden with them. They haven't said what they need to say. Or someone has lied, been deceptive, Maybe someone has um, been dealing with a toxic person, with a, a person that is uh, unhealthy, 
and it has it's t it's taken its toll, essentially. Whatever this is, this Queen of Swords reverse, whether it's deception, whether it's someone that's not communicating what they need to communicate, or whether it is a difficult person, doesn't matter, it has to be dropped. It's become a heavy weight, something that someone can no longer carry on their own. This could be your, your person here. So tell me about judgment. Judgment is about kind of looking back at the past, learning from your mistakes, um, having some sort of awakening about, you know, what you've learned, what you've been through, and getting ready for that world. It could also be a card about resurrection, revival. Making some sort of judgment call. Let's see. Yeah, one more for judgment, please. Get the Four of Cups. Knight of Wands. Again, I feel like this is someone that's really evaluating something. Page of Swords, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. And it's all about going after something here. Wheel of Fortune. But I have the Four of Cups here. So it's like maybe in the past someone has not been really open to new opportunities. Maybe they've only been able to focus on what's right in, you know, either in the recent past or what's right in front of them and nothing that's coming in. Um, I feel like someone has just not been happy or emotionally fulfilled. We'll have the strength card reverse, 10 of wands, um, and then the four of cups here. So maybe the past was difficult or is, you know, it, it has, this the recent past has been difficult for someone and they've kind of mentally checked out here. But I think in the back of their mind, they're still thinking about something or wanting something to come towards them, um, like a change. Tell me more about judgment. Sorry, tell me more about judgment. The devil. Capricorn energy. Yeah, I feel like someone has been kind of stuck in a cycle or stuck in an unhealthy situation. And there you are at the bottom of the deck, Cancer energy with the chariot. So I feel like you want to move past this, you or another person. Because remember, this is this could be both of your energies here. So take it as it resonates. But whoever's in, a, in an unhealthy situation or feeling bound, disinterested, bored, unfulfilled, unsatisfied, um, they're wanting to move forward in towards a different direction is what I'm feeling. So let's look at your energies here. Cancer, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you. I'm going to be using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is out now. It's going to be linked down below if you're curious on getting your own deck. All right, Spirit, give me some more insight into Cancer and this other person they're dealing with. Give me some insight, please. Tell me about Cancer's energy. Tell me about Cancer's energy, please. What is Cancer's energy in this connection? Burden heart. So you could be the one that's dealing with a burden. Obligations, burdens, difficulty. Burdens weigh heavy on the heart. So I feel like you, you could be the one that has been carrying a burden. Maybe you've been holding something back, you know, because I have the Queen of Swords reverse, or you're dealing with a difficult person. You could also be thinking of your person here, and they're the ones with the burden. But, you know, I'm feeling that it might be you because you have the Five of Pentacles on your side here. Tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with, Spirit. What are their energies at this time? Balancing act. Juggling indecision balance. You're juggling multiple things at once. That's that Two of Pentacles energy. So maybe your person's trying to weigh their options here. Maybe they're undecided about something. trying to make a decision. Maybe they haven't made a decision yet. Maybe they are juggling more than one thing, one person. Okay, so let's clarify. I want to use a different deck though. Let's use the vice versa. Spirit, help me clarify. For cancer, please. 
Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. Let's look at that first. What's this Five? Five of Pentacles is kind of like struggling, um, being out in the cold, feeling left out, abandoned. Three of Swords reverse. Yikes. Could have been due to a third party situation or maybe you're ready to heal from something. Just when I say that, there is the Seven of Swords reversed. And this is the star reverse. Something happened here and I feel like it happened to you. Maybe you caught someone lying to you or caught someone not, you know, being shady. Maybe this is a situation that has taken a while to um, heal from, overcome. I'm going to put those back in the middle. Shuffle. Tell me more spirit. Tell me more for cancer, please. Okay. I get one more, please. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles. The Hermit Reverse, Virgo Energy. Um, being very, very extremely withdrawn, maybe there's no communication between you and another person. Okay, there we have the tower reverse and the ace of swords reverse definitely something happened a tower moment i saw the tower while i was shuffling shuffling earlier um i have the ace of swords reverse this is deception destruction um i feel like a tower happened i don't know if it's with this other person i'm gonna guess that it is because i have the hermit reverse they have the hermit on their end but um it doesn't have to be I feel like maybe um, if this wasn't deception, it was something that wasn't said and it's caused an interference in the connection, a tower possibly. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Oops, wow, that was fast. Five of Swords reversed. Tell me about the world. This is uh, you uh, ready for a new cycle, wrapping up uh, some like a chapter in order to start a new one let's see Tell me about the world yeah we got the knight of pentacles here is a new opportunity here an offer you get one more for the world for cancer spirit why is the world here wow knight of swords yeah this is this is moving quickly towards something um, this could be a message that comes in unexpected, honest, <laughs> I can't talk, Unexpect, unexpectedly or suddenly, because <laughs> the Knight of Swords is very fast. Um, these are two very different energies. The Knight of Pentacles tends to be very slow, very careful, uh, very practical. And then the Knight of Swords is very kind of like blunt, in your face, quick. Um, they just care about delivering the truth and they don't really care so much about delivering it in a nice way. But sometimes it could just mean really quick communication. So there could be like a text or something like that that comes in quickly here. It could be from this person or from someone completely new. Let's see. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles spirit and the Knight of Swords. Tell me the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords for Cancer. We got the three of cups reversed again, or not again, but it's another three reverse. So interesting. Can I get one more please for the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords? So if the interference is communication or something to do with uh, communication, whether it's deception or not communicating something, I feel like that's what this Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords is meant to address here. There's judgment reversed. Yeah, it's like someone could have made a bad judgment call or didn't learn from their mistakes and that got in the way and now it's like that's what they want to talk about or that's what this offer or communication is relating to. And with the Five of Swords reverse, this is someone that possibly wants to reconcile. Uh, maybe they want the fighting to be over. Maybe they want to recover, um, you know, have success where they didn't have success before. Um, because the Five of Swords Reverse could be a card about complete defeat, um, reconciliation, wanting to surpass the conflict, 
Um, it could also be a card where someone that tried to get away with something didn't get away with it and now there's failure, right? So I feel like this could be somebody, especially with Judgment Reverse, like they, they made a mistake and now it's like they want to talk about this. So let's look at your person. Why is the Hermit here? The Hermit, someone that has withdrawn to really figure something out, seeking answers here. Tell me about the Hermit, please. We got the, I think this is the star again. Hold on. Yep, the star reversed Aquarius energy. Tell me about the Hermit. For Cancer. Five of Wands. Conflict, difficulty, drama. I feel like it's connected to a tower because of this, the way that this artwork looks. It's like a like a volcano erupting. Tell me about the hermit, please. Feel your person is thinking of conflict here. Yeah, temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. This person's thinking about how to repair something, how to deal with a conflict. Because right now it's not balanced. Um, it's not healed. It might even appear to be a hopeless situation. This could be somebody losing faith or feeling like things are hopeless here with the star reversed. Bottom of the deck, I have the eight of swords. This could be somebody that feels tied, bound, fear, fearful um, for whatever reason. You know, with the wheel of fortune reversed, it's like they feel like maybe they have bad luck or things just aren't progressing. Things are at a standstill here. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. Why is the Wheel of Fortune Reverse? Five of Pentacles Reverse. Wanting to come back in out of the cold. Wanting to um, recover what they've lost. Yep. Three of Pentacles, wanting to work on things, working together, putting an effort into something. And then the Ace of Cups reverse. So this is someone that is completely heartbroken, disappointed. Yeah, so this is kind of a story here that I'm getting. I just want one more. Yeah, Nine of Cups reverse. Then I have the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck once again. And then at the top of the deck here, I have the Page of Cups. So I feel like this person could be wanting to apologize. Maybe they want to talk about, you know, maybe maybe there's there's a couple of ways that I, I'm looking at this. I feel like this is someone with the Nine of Cups reverse, especially and the Ace of Cups reverse. They thought they were going to get emotional fulfillment, possibly with a particular decision, and it didn't happen. There was either a compromise, a big compromise, or someone must have been misled because, um, I feel like they're just extremely drained emotionally because of what situation they find themselves in. Um, and I say that because usually when you make a mistake, um, usually uh, regarding a person that you love and you have these th this emotional baggage, this, this feeling of, wow, I really screwed up. Usually you try to figure out what to do about those feelings. And that's what I see your person doing here with the hermit. You know, especially because I have also here the five of pentacles reverse. This is someone that no longer wants to be out in the cold. Uh, they no longer want to be struggling. Um, this is someone that wants to recover whatever is missing. And then have the three of pentacles. Let me see what this three of pentacles is about. Can I have one more please for this three of pentacles? You know, and it makes sense that this judgment card has the devil and the knight of wands. Almost like someone jumped into something. Tell me about the three of pentacles. Get some more clarity, please. Seven of wands reverse. Can I get one more, please, for the three of pentacles? Yeah, queen of cups. So what I'm getting here is someone that, yeah, look at this Queen of Cups. Um, and then I have the world at the bottom of the deck, which by the way, you've had this, this, um, I just did a reading where actually this is the thumbnail of the reading for you, I believe, um, because your, your, your cancers specifically are going through something to do with new cycles. 
Um, anyways, so what I'm getting here is um, emotionally, you know, there's love here and someone wants to work together and no longer like put down their wands, put down their, their baton or whatever resistance they had. They kind of need to put that down. But I feel like your person thinks maybe it's too late or maybe this is going to take a lot more work <laughs> because I have temperance reverse and the star reverse with the five of wands, you know. So in the near future, I have the King of Pentacles. What is this about, Spirit? Why is the King of Pentacles here? We got the Page of Cups. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Oops. We have the Eight of Cups and the Hangman. Look at that energy. Uh, the hangman is really reminding me of this judgment card. Someone that is looking at things from a different perspective, um, but not really making any moves, just thinking. And the hermit too, it's reminding me of that. Um, this is someone that wants to express themselves with the page of cups. Maybe this is an apology. And this eight of cups is walking away from something. So I feel like this could be the person you're dealing with, this king of pentacles. And they are making... Um, a decision to walk away from a situation and look what's at the top of the deck here I have the six of swords so this is moving forward moving on here and the bottom of the deck I have the ace of Pentacles so this is all about a new opportunity this could be somebody uh, leaving a situation towards a new opportunity here um, and I find it very fast I feel like you're kind of mirroring each other um, and of course, Cancer, if this is someone that really screwed up here, there's nothing that says you have to accept this person back. You know, that's not what these readings are for. It's more to give you insight into what's going on in your connection. Um, but you do not have to forgive someone just because they ask for forgiveness. And you don't have to take them back just because they want a second chance. You know, use your intuition to figure out what what kind of answer you would give to someone that is coming to you with those kind of um, that kind of communication. So I feel like this is someone that's definitely, I feel like communication is a possibility here. I have the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Page of Swords, okay? So I feel like there's some sort of communication coming in, maybe even quick communication um, regarding what someone has realized, you know? And this person's trying to make a decision, I feel, to walk away or to communicate, one of those. Because I feel like right now they're, they're not really m taking action. It's more like thinking carefully about what to do and what kind of opportunity they want to go after here. Because I feel like there's more than one option for, for this person. Thank you so much for watching, Cancer. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It's a free way to support the channel and it helps the videos get out to more people and so more people can get these messages thank you to everyone who always does that i really appreciate it leave me a comment if this resonated for you i'd love to hear from you and i'll see you all in another video very soon take care